The next question, uh, on the Tree Care HQ site, if you were aiming to rank state pages for keywords like service plus state, would you add an internal link from the state page to the main services page? Could you also explain the theory behind keeping the content on location? Okay, so this is two different questions that are, are not the same, but um, they're not even really related. So I'll start with the first one. Um, first of all, like, you know, honestly, I haven't even thought about if I was trying to rank a directory category page or state page or anything else because i've not attempted my directory ranked for two years and then all of a sudden a couple of months ago it dropped now it's like on page two with tree service directory and i've not spent any time investigating why we're trying to recover it back to page one it was at the top for about two years i got a lot of agency leads because of contractors submitting their company through my directory because i was ranked um but I use the directory specifically to start conversations with the business owners in my industry. That's it, guys. I've said that a, a you know thousand times. There are a number of things that you can do with the directory. You can rank a directory. You can generate leads. You can monetize it by selling advertising space. You can sell premium listings. You can build a list, right? You can have an opt-in that's re relevant to the business uh, category, the service uh, categories, so that you can build a list and then do affiliate marketing. There's, I mean, there's so much that you can do with a with a directory. But I use it for one specific purpose, and that is, well, two, really. The first one is to initiate conversations with business owners in my industry. That's it. Number two is once they are a paying client, then we fully flesh out their uh, listing on my directory, and that becomes a primary link building target. That then I'm using their budget to build links to my directory that benefits them, at least while they're a paying client. And then once they decide to stop paying, then we we leave their directory listing up. We just no follow their links so that we're not bleeding any link equity out to them, but we still retain some of that because we're, we've used some of their budget to build links to my directory site, if that's clear. And now I also build LLG sites or local lead gen sites. And that's just part of my standard operating procedure for local clients. And some of their budget goes to build links to my LLG sites that are have been assigned exclusively to them while they're a client. So I'm using some of their budget to build links to my lead gen assets that are benefiting them while they're paying clients. But when they stop paying or decide that they need to can they want to cancel or whatever, then I retain some of that value because they I use some of their budget to build links to my assets, right? Which are benefiting them while they're paying clients. So I don't have any problem sleeping at night. I don't think there's anything ethically wrong with that. I've just learned over the years. Look, I'm in the tree service industry to be clear. And uh <laughs> The tree service guys are notorious. They've been working with tree guys for 10 damn years. And they are notorious for once they get ranked, they cancel services. Or in the winter, because the tree work slows down significantly during the winter, they cancel services. And they often will, and for years I've heard, oh, well, we'll be back in the spring. But the problem is if you do SEO good enough, sometimes, sometimes they haven't slipped at all. And so come spring, they don't really need you again. So they don't rehire you or rehire me. You know what I mean? And so- the point is, is I've learned over the years to try to reduce that, to capture, to retain more value from that client other than just earning money while working on their assets, right? How can I capture some of that and keep it even when they're gone? And so that's kind of the whole reason I started developing. Again, for four years, I've been working on what I call the directory hybrid agency, specifically to overcome that which is, uh, I'm, again, it's about building your own business. Why is it that we as SEOs always build our clients' businesses, but never our own? Or rarely do we build our own. That's just stupid because at some point when the client decides they don't need you anymore, you're left with nothing. And the client can benefit for months and even years from the work that you did. So why not capture some of that? And that's what the DHA program is about. So again, back to the Tree Care HQ site. I don't use it for anything else. If I were trying to, I, I haven't even thought about trying to rank service plus state pages. And honestly, that's not picking on you uh, for this question, but go look at search volume data and how many people search for service plus state. It's very, very low search volume. People also don't search for service plus county. I mean, there is a little bit of search volume, but very little. They search for service plus city though. So if you're going to try to rank pages, uh, you know, why not try to rank pages that are going to get a lot more, you know, traffic, which would be service plus city type of search queries instead of service plus county or service plus state, which has very little search volume. But in any case, how would I do it? I don't know. I'd have to think about it, to be honest. 
And um, I can't just off the top of my head tell you how I would do it. I'd have to kind of plan that out because a, a directory site isn't a simple site. Like the hyper-local sites that I, I build now, would, again, I call them LLG sites or lo LLG, local lead gen. Hopefully you guys understand that. LLG sites are hyper-local sites. If it is a client that wants to cover multiple counties, like a tree service guy, some tree guys do. They'll cover for three, four, five counties. No kidding. Well, then that's fine. If they cover three counties, I'm going to build them three separate sites. Three, right? Because each subdomain, each site that I build is based upon the current best performing configuration or structure. And that's what I call the control. Your direct response marketing, you figure out what the control is, your best performing campaign, in this case, best performing website structure. And then you, you change single variables um, and test single variable changes to see if you can outperform the control. If you if you find a single variable change that causes a performance gain, then you duplicate that several more times and see, does it consistently provide that same performance gain? If so, then you work that into the control. That now becomes the new control. And so for, you know, in, in my, uh, what I have found is that optimizing service area business sites on a hyper-local level where we optimize the homepage for the county and then the local supporting location pages are, are uh, cities or towns, census designated places, unincorporated communities, et cetera, that are within that county. And so if I want to target another county for the same client, I want to build another LLG site that is targeting that county with the internal pages as all part of that. Now, again, can this all be done on one site? Probably. But what I have found in my own testing is that the hyper-local sites perform better than if I try to put the, combine them all on the one site. And so I would much rather deploy multiple subdomain because I, I do everything on subdomains subdomain sites that are optimized at that level because that's the best performing configuration my control right then and just duplicate that multiple times for one client then try to reinvent the wheel and put it all on one and by the way i don't give my tree guys an option like if you want to work with me these are the sites you're getting that's it we can change the colors we can change the images we can change the services etc but you're getting this template this structure because this is the best performing do you want pretty or do you want performance you can you know i'm not i'm i don't do pretty i do performance you know what i mean um so if you want pretty go elsewhere you can go pay five grand for somewhere else to get a uh, web design that's pretty um but what's good is a pretty site if nobody ever lands on it you know and in my sites at least get traffic right because they they rank well typically uh, there are certainly more competitive areas that require more effort but anyway, hopefully that's clear. I can't give you a good answer on that right now without thinking through that about ranking the directory stuff, um, because otherwise I like I'd just be pulling stuff out of the air and I'd have to think about it to give you a proper answer. Okay.